Hello Trade Pros. In today's video, we're really excited to bring you another installment by our junior trader, Victorio. Today, he's gonna take you through a series of technical analysis components and how to start from the beginning and work up a bias and trade idea on any stock or security that you may trade. This is good for Forex, commodities, stock options, futures, and anything of your choosing. He'll take you through the entire process. Enjoy this video. Hello YouTube, it's Victoria from Trade Pro Academy again and today we've got another video for you. Today we're going to focus on using TradingView to set up an options trade. Now in front of me I have the pro version of TradingView and it's a little different than the free version. First of all you can split the screen like you see here. There's three different windows but they all reflect the same stock just in different ways. On the pro version I believe you can have five indicators on your charts while on the free version I believe they're limited to three. Now I want to first go over the charting and what you guys see in front of you here and what indicators I use before we get into our technical analysis. And now again in conjunction with the technical analysis you guys should definitely take a look at what the stock is doing news wise on a fundamental level before you jump into any position because Things like earnings, as you can see the ease down here can pop up and, and the outcome of the event can be unsuspected and can either move up or down. Keep that in mind and check out what the stock is doing before you enter into a options position. Alright, so in front of us we have the Netflix chart and we'll be doing our analysis on Netflix today. No particular reason, earnings have already passed so it'll be a little easier for us to dive into the technical analysis of the stock and come up with a decision. So first I want to talk to you about what kind of chart I'm looking at right now. It is a daily chart as you can see up here these are can it's a candlestick pattern chart so each candle represents one day red candles represent a down day green candles represent up days now down here what we have is the volume which represents the candles up above so higher candles of volume mean that more shares were traded that day as you can see here on earnings there's a lot of volume traded right here as you can see again a lot of volume on earnings volume tends to lead price now at the bottom here you can see we have three momentum indicators each of them aren't that different from each other they just tell you the general trend of momentum but either way we will go through all of them so the first one you see here is market as number one is the RSI so the RSI usually gives you an overbought level and an oversold level so right now for Netflix and their, the overbought level is above 70 to 75 while the oversold level is under 20 so when a stock is generally overbought like you can see right here on Netflix it can hang out in the overbought territory but generally that kind of leads the momentum downward back into the mid range of the level again this is not a hundred percent guaranteed as stocks can hang out in overbought territory for a while but the general consensus is is that if it's overbought it tends to come back into the range and the same goes for when it's oversold it tends to move back upwards into the range so moving on to the next one number two right here we have the MACD which stands for the moving average convergence divergence momentum indicator so as you can see it shows a relationship between two moving averages which are represented by the blue and orange lines again it's a momentum indicator so it kind of gives you an idea of where the price is going so right here on the upswing momentum is upwards as you can see price has been driven upward and so on so generally when the orange line crosses over onto the blue line is a bearish indication and vice versa when the blue line crosses right here over to the orange line as you can see it's more of a bullish indication and one thing to note about the MACD is that it represents convergence and divergence so if MACD comes down while prices are moving up there is a possibility that they will converge back into the same direction and vice versa lastly here number three at the very bottom this yellow line is just a momentum indicator it just shows you the general momentum of the stock and which it's moving at so as you can see it kind of reflects the stock the stocks price movement which if you draw a line all the way down here and replicate it down to the bottom as you can see momentum is moving with the stock price action again these three momentum indicators should not be taken by themselves in analyzing the stock but they do help to see where the general movement of the stock is at right now so moving on to this segment of the chart right here it's on the top right this is a Bollinger Band 
indicator which is drawn and the main use for Bollinger Band indicators is the midline acts as a support and resistance level along with the band widths right here. What it's used for a lot is if the stock price is riding the band as they like to call it that means that is the general momentum of the stock and it'll continue to ride the band until it breaks such as it has down here comes back into the support level and again it rides the band a little comes back, bounces off, breaks the support, rides the band, then comes back again. But again, this isn't, this shouldn't be your only tool that's used. Bolger bands are great in retrospect, but they tend not to work too much in live examples. But again, they're nice to see, just to see where price is at, where the support levels are at, where the resistance levels are at, and so on. So down here at the bottom, this bottom right chart, as I've highlighted here, these are just your moving averages in correlation with the stock price. Each moving average is of different lengths, so the longest one is here, the 200 day moving average, the green line, which out of all of these that have been drawn is the strongest point of resistance and support. Next you have the 100 day moving average, this red line, and blue line is the 50 day, while the green line is the 10 day. So the longer they are, the stronger of support and resistance they hold. So as you can see, the 50 day is being tested right now, and the likelihood of it being broken is much higher than if it comes down in to test the 100 day or the 200 day. And we look to the moving averages as support and resistance indicators to help us with our technical analysis. So in our analysis of Netflix today, I'll be using these tools right here on the left hand side, which I have highlighted to draw trends, horizontal levels, support resistances, and so on, to get a general idea of where the support and resistances lie. And from there, we will look to construct an options trade on Netflix. As you guys can see right now, the general trend is upward on Netflix and earnings came out pretty well. They've also added a substantial amount of subscribers in the past few weeks. I like to believe that the general consensus for the Netflix trade will be to the upside and we look to play off maybe one of these key support levels here and look for a trade to push it higher. Again, right here is its high and here is another strong resistance level to the upside. It's expected that the price would find resistance up here and it'll have difficulty passing through but if this level is broken, the upside is almost limitless. So let's go ahead and construct a options trade. And how we will do this is right here, we'll go into the one month. As you can see, this is a very compact chart and it just looks like vertical slopes. I like to go on a larger frame time chart and draw levels before going into a smaller time frame to draw more specific levels. So as you can see right now, the price is at 320. On the monthly, there's not that many support and resistances that we can draw that are close to this level. So let's just go down to the weekly. And the trend is very steep right now. So drawing a trend channel or a trend line would not be the best of options as it'll just be a vertical line upward. So let's go to the weekly. So on a one week chart, as you can see here, you can see a little more clear support and resistance levels. So right here, we can draw a horizontal line as the top. And let's just go ahead and do that. This is a strong resistance point right here. You can see there's a lot of price consolidation. It had difficulties breaking this level to the upside and then it found support there so it is both a strong resistance and support level let's just plot a line right there to the downside further we have a level right here which has been proven hard to break through it bounced off at once and it came back down to the level and could not break again so why not draw another horizontal support level right here and then drawing further support levels further down would be kind of pointless because I don't see the stock dropping 100 to 200 points in the next few weeks so let's go on to the daily chart and see what we can draw, see if we can make these levels a little better. Okay, so right here, maybe we can pull this down to here. As you can see, the wicks have been formed at the edge of this, maybe a little further down. This encompasses five to six tests of the level, so that's a little more solidified example. Again, guys, these lines will not be exact. They're not going to hit every candlestick on the exact same location. It's not going to be perfect signs. We're just, we are just getting general levels to play off. So right now, as you can see, it's kind of in an uptrend. It's, you can't really draw a channel here but we can draw a trend line that hits a few points to the upside so we start it from here you can draw it like this again not the best trend line but we can make it work it almost comes down touches this part hits here draw a little steeper hits here here that's three to four points we'll take that we can we can make it work and right here as you can see we have a consolidation of two support levels which 
should hold as a pretty strong support level but again we have to look at how volume plays out on the price action and we'll see where momentum is again looking at the moving averages seeing which direction they're in where price is in correlation are they held as supports or resistances so if, if it breaks this 50 day moving average we can drop down all the way let's extend this to the 280s on the 100 day moving average which will be much harder to break than the 50 day i don't really see price dropping down to 280 before it bounces up again earnings came out very strong we're in a current uptrend and netflix is adding more and more subscribers by the day so this level down here could be kind of a reach maybe the 50 holds really well as we can see it's bounced off it around 10 times in total and it cannot break but again the more a level is tested the weaker it becomes so guys be careful if we can bounce right off this level and continue higher that would be great but as of now we don't know we cannot see into the future so as you can see on the way up this huge green candle we can see volume is dropping which is not a very bullish indication there's no volume to the upside not very convincing at all so we have a bias in mind but maybe it might not be the best of plays anyways let's continue on with our analysis and see what we come up with so next let's draw some Fibonacci retracements and extensions let's see if they can show us anything so we grab the retracement from the top and we pull it down let's pull it down right here to this bottom which is a pretty strong support level it's gapped down and tried to fill the gap anyways we're gonna call this a very strong support level to the downside here let's even pull this up a little so what we can see here is it bounced off of this 61.8 percent level and it moved straight back up it could not test the 50 percent or the 38 percent but again this Fibonacci retracement was drawn pretty shallowly let's let's bring it down down to here which is a very key support level again this is ways away so we'll see what happens again right at the same area around the 300 to 305 dollar level there is a strong support level but Fibonacci doesn't seem like it's showing us that much of great information so let's remove it and the general trend right here is that netflix has formed a little range so if we can break out of this range i feel like we can test the upside right around here again we'll have to w watch out for some bullish behavior on volume to solidify our example if not this is this trade can be a complete dud and we might even look for the short somewhere in this area actually instead of buying it down here somewhere let's look at it in a different way so now if we have a short bias building up that means that we want price to continue to the upside a little on this descending volume so we can capture it right here and hit it lower down to this level which right now seems to be like the more probable trade but again you can catch some of the upside on the swing up but it seems like we've missed our level here it's it's a little too late we don't expect it to drop another 20 points so it can so we can catch our level and bring it back up I feel like the next best trade on this Netflix example would be to find some resistance overhead which is a lot more probable it's only 10 to 15 points away so we can hit this thing lower again we want to see the price climb while volume decreases which is not the most secure bullish signal and then to the downside we want to see a little capitulation right here at the test of a level maybe something that looks like this all the way up here and then we want to see volume increase as the price drops lower we want to see momentum fall down like this and then we want to see the break of this 50-day moving average then the test all the way down to the 100-day moving average all right guys we're looking at another example over here it's facebook let's see if we can construct something on facebook facebook has has been in the news lately for some very bad things that have been done by Zuckerberg maybe not bad things but he has breached a lot of privacy issues and on earnings the stock actually did really well and it gapped higher we want to close this gap so we're looking for something to the downside this is, we've we've got a short bias but let's see what we can construct using our technical analysis to come up with a better trade so again first we look at the stock on a bigger time frame let's start at a month let's see what we can find uh, as you can see we've done some technical analysis on this stock before so on the one month we can actually find some levels let's draw a horizontal line right here where we find some solid support and resistance at the top obviously let's draw one right here let's pull it down a little and then nothing that significant so let's move on to the weekly on the weekly you can see there's a lot of overhead resistance right around here price could not really break to the upside but the current trend is upward shorting this thing could not play out as you would have hoped but let's see if we can find here look on um, when we go to the weekly we can configure this line a little better let's see if we can find let's see if we can find some more conviction to the short side as that is our bias right now again we shouldn't really build a bias around it but that's what we're looking for 
if we are proven wrong by our technicals, then we can abandon the trade. Think of a different way to approach it. So we can draw another support level down here. Looks like a solid one. We can then we go down to the daily and we construct these levels a little better. So let's zoom out a little here. Let's see what we've done. This isn't bad at all. Pull that down a little. Uh, pull down a little as well. This level's good. This level could be pulled up a little actually. So let's see what we're working with right now. Just from looking at this, you can't really draw a significant trend. It's, it's doing a little head and shoulders pattern here, maybe a reverse head and shoulders to be built. Anyways, let's dig deeper in and see if we can find a position. So next I want to look at the Fibonacci retracement level. So let's grab the top here. Let's pull it down to the bottom right here. Let's see. Price right now is at the 61.2% level. And it has not filled this gap right here. We tend to fill the gap. We look right here. This is a very strong resistance level to the upside. Maybe we can build something around this level right here. Shoring this right here wouldn't be the best idea. Again, we want to see the gap filled so it can come down all the way down here and fill this gap that was created by earnings. So let's remove this retracement for now and we'll move on to looking at our momentum. So the momentum's clear to the upside as you guys can tell from here. Right here though the moving averages is a 200 the green line and the 100 the red line which are proving as very strong resistance to the upside. The next level just on pure price action is right here. If it can break above this, we could see a much higher move. But as you can see, it's being tested one, two, three times, and it could push the price lower. So on earnings, volume was super high as expected. But other than that, as you can see on this up move right here, volume was very weak. This could be a false move up. We have to see right now the price in no man's land. We can't really make a move off this. But again, we're doing a technical analysis for when price either reaches up here or down here. So we can find a level and see what we want to do at that level. Let's see what the Bollinger Bands are doing. They are riding the band to the upside right now. They bounced off the support level right here, but again, that's not much conviction. So after doing all this technical analysis, what can we come up with? Well, the two plays that we do have right now are to the upside or the downside. Again, that's not the best of examples, but we're working with what we have right now. As you can see, the stock price is just in the middle of nothing. We can't really make a move right now. It's kind of pure speculation if you just buy or sell right now, expecting it to go up or down. So what I can tell you guys is right here at this level, as you can see, there is very strong resistance overhead. Let's call it the 183 level. This level right here is strong resistance to the upside. And then to the downside, we have the 168 level. So once price nears these levels, then we can look at into our options trade and find out what we want to do. Again, to the downside here, we want to see volume very weak. So that is conviction that this down sell move is just temporary before we spring back up. And then the same to the upside. Let's say we want to look for the short. If the if upside price comes in as volume decreases like this, that is conviction that the buyers are not really in charge. They want to hit this thing lower right at this level by buying puts and right here by buying calls. Again, you can create debit spreads, which will minimize the premium, but also minimize the potential reward. Again, we don't want to fall in love with these trades. We're holding them for a few weeks, maybe a month. We look for a time value of maybe 45 days on an options contract. So 45 days from now would put us in a mid-June expiry. Again, guys, these were two examples of Facebook and Netflix that I did on TradingView Pro. And you don't have to have a pro subscription to do these. You will just have less indicators, but you can remove an indicator then add another one, such as these down here and these. So you wouldn't have them all on the screen at once, but you can use them individually. All right, trade pros, and there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video on learning how to apply technical analysis to your favorite stock, option, currency, or commodity. If you like this content, you're in luck. YouTube made a button for you. Please click the like button, share, subscribe. We've got a lot of awesome content coming your way. Thanks for tuning in, and have yourselves an awesome day. Always remember, manage your risk and trade like a trade pro. Goodbye.